Money is the root of all evil, and some people will do anything to get it. Among these people are a group of young men, aged between 22 to 29 years old, infamously known as the Yahoo Boys. 80 people in all, most of them from Nigeria. Well, prosecutors say the defendants preyed on everyone, from people looking for romance to businesses and the elderly. Their world is a perfect example of how far people will go for the sake of wealth. These cyber criminals have mastered the art of fraud. They operate in secrecy, using cunning tactics to deceive and defraud innocent people online. They might be college dropouts or undergraduates, but they've got lifestyles that put even the most successful CEOs to shame. Their methods range from phishing scams to romance scams and business email compromises, and their targets are often the most vulnerable in society. Talked to them a few times. I mean, we messaged every day. The widowed mother of four thought she was communicating with a British businessman, only to find out it was a Nigerian con man. She says she lost much of her life savings. And let me tell all these Yahoo boys, stop. Keep in there. Go back! But the lifestyle of Yahoo boys are a stark contrast to those of their unsuspecting victims. These masterminds of deceptions revel in their extravagance, driving flashy cars and flaunting their lavish wardrobes and jewelry. Night after night, they indulge in wild parties at exclusive nightclubs surrounded by multiple partners. Their social media accounts are flooded with images of their opulent lifestyles and ostentatious possessions, all of which they use to entice more unsuspecting victims into their web of deceit. Unlike traditional criminals, the Yahoo boys operate without borders. The internet is their playground, and they've got their sights set on anyone who's willing to fall for their get-rich-quick schemes. From unsuspecting seniors to naive millennials, no one is safe from their grasp. I do no banking, no internet, no email, nothing. Basically what you call computer illiterate. You know, I was just starting to uh, move forward. Over the, after the death of my husband, and this is just, yeah, put me right back there, um, stress-wise, anxiety, everything. It's just myself, um, and I've got my three kids, and, um, you know, this money was going to help us have our lifestyle together, you know, build ourselves back together, um, and that's t been taken away from me now. It is bad enough that Yahoo boys steal and destroy, but their venture into ritual killings in a desperate attempt to maintain their status of wealth has resulted in a horrifying pile of bodies. In 2011, a group of researchers sought to understand the modus operandi of these cyber criminals. What emerged from the study was a shocking revelation. The use of voodoo and charms for spiritual protection and to charm potential victims is common among the Yahoo boys in Nigeria. But the use of human parts takes it to a whole new level, known as Yahoo Plus. Yahoo Plus is the use of metaphysical powers by the so-called Yahoo boys and girls to compel victims to do their bidding. Researchers discovered that the use of things such as fingernails, rings, carrying corpses, making incisions on their bodies, sleeping in the cemetery, inciting incantations, using their fingers for rituals, and even having sex with ghosts are common. Some Yahoo boys even use a calabash filled with a black substance hidden in their rooms for their incantations. One informant affirmed this, he said, The voodoo thing exists for real. I have used it, but I have stopped because of the fear of repercussions. With the aid of voodoo, the money comes faster. I have friends that still use it. They can collect money twice or thrice a week and it helps. I used the ring when I did mine. We have incisions. I have a friend that uses a calabash filled with black substance. He hides it in his room and says incantations. The study shed light on the dark underbelly of cybercrime in Nigeria, where superstitions and traditional beliefs are hijacked by criminals for financial gain. As the Yahoo boys continue to evolve their tactics, law enforcement agencies struggle to keep up, leaving unsuspecting victims vulnerable to their schemes. Can I say something? Every Yahoo boy is the same level with Mazuka Bet. It's the same brain. That's your contemporary in America. Every Yahoo boy is at the same level with Steve Jobs. The only thing, two of you are intelligent, but you use your brain differently. Ah. 
In 2019, the darkness of ritual killings took form and the innocent Elozino, a female student at Abraka University, was its victim. This is the residence of late Elozino Ogege, who recently fell victim of the exploits of suspected ritualists. In a chilling interview from 2019, three Yahoo boys named Macaulay Desmond Ogenemaru, MSA Emudiaga Kelvin and Honorio De Enaike revealed how they selected their victims in Delta State, including the towns of Wari, Abraka and Ogara. They preyed on vulnerable young women, identifying their victims through simple gestures such as eye contact, a smile or a response to a catcall, even the sight of an expensive car. They described how they would lure their victims to bars, get them drunk, and then take them to isolated areas to murder them and sell their organs to the jazz man named Robinson Obajero. The trio would bring the organs to Obajero, who mixes herbal medicines with occultic practices and would prepare a money ritual concoction that he claimed would bring them success in their fraudulent activities. But when the men returned to Obajero, they found that the online victims that they were targeting had become smarter and their business was no longer booming as expected. Obajero demanded that they bring a fifth victim and assured them that this time they would be successful. Less than 24 hours later, Honorio Day contacted Desmond and Emese, telling them about a possible victim, Elozino Gege, a student at Abraka University. Honorio Day, who worked as a security guard at the university, had told Elozino to return the next day and arranged for the trio to kidnap her with the help of the head of security, Nwosisi Benedict Uche, who would be paid 30,000 naira for allowing them to pass through the gate without a search. The three men waylaid Elozino, drugged her and took her to Emese's house before killing her and selling her organs to Bajero. The interview was a chilling reminder of the dangers of online fraud and the depravity that can result from it. Justice must be done to Zina. The Yahoo Boys' gruesome crimes were a shocking indictment of a society where young people felt that their only way to succeed was through illegal means. Fortunately, it's no secret that the Yahoo Boys' lifestyle comes at a cost. However, what most people don't know is that it's not just financial. The rituals and voodoo used to gain power and success often have dangerous consequences for both the Yahoo Boys and their victims. No, my God, give justice to poor woman, poor widow! Many of them end up experiencing severe health issues, including mental illnesses and sleep disorders. In addition to the physical and mental harm caused by their actions, the Yahoo Boys' criminal activities also have a significant impact on the Nigerian economy. According to a 2018 report by the Nigerian Communications Commission NCC, the country loses an estimated $3.5 billion annually to cybercrime, with the majority of the losses attributed to the activities of Yahoo Boys. If we must rid our society of criminals, then vices and crime must be cast down in a root, stem and all. The mother of one endurance, Osarum Wense, an alleged internet fraudster popularly called Yahoo Boys, the best Osarum Wense, has been sentenced to five years imprisonment in Benin, the Edo State Capital. Justice Shaibo of the Federal High Court in Benin. The Nigerian government has made some efforts to curb cybercrime in the country. However, their efforts have been largely unsuccessful. All of a sudden, they're on the streets arresting every young guy for being involved in cybercrime without any evidence. With many Yahoo boys continuing to operate with impunity, some people also believe that some parts of the police are conspirators because aside from the use of rituals, Yahoo boys often use a variety of tactics that requires the help of security agencies to ensnare unsuspecting victims. One of the most insidious strategies they use in identifying their victims is scouring social media and other online platforms for individuals who appear wealthy or interested in making money. They bombard them with emails and messages, carefully crafting their approach to see who takes the bait. They even send fake pictures of themselves to entice their victims into relationships. But that's not all. Women also play a key role in their schemes. They assist their boyfriends in using female identities to interact with victims on the phone, manipulating them with their feminine wiles. And these cyber criminals have even gone so far as to collaborate with security agents and bank officials to pull off their scams. It's a network that spans not just locally, but internationally as well. These criminals have established connections around the world. It's a sobering reminder that in the digital age, we must always be on our guard. The rise of Yahoo Boys and their use of rituals is a stark reminder of the dangers of the internet and how easily it can be used to exploit the vulnerable. 
These cyber criminals prey on our desires for love, money and success and use voodoo and other dark practices to control their victims and extort money from them. It's easy to dismiss these criminals as greedy and heartless, but the truth is that they are often victims themselves. Poverty, unemployment, and a lack of opportunities drive many young people into the arms of cybercrime. And while their actions are certainly unjustifiable, it's important to understand the root causes of their behavior if we hope to stop it. As individuals, we can protect ourselves from online scams by being vigilant and skeptical of anyone who tries to solicit money or personal information from us. Most of the scams offer you five, five and a half. So straight away, if it's anything more than one, it's a red flag and you need to stop. Is it too good to be true? A normal company, the URL would be www.companyname.com. So, so with the URL, uh, what we would see there is um, changes in letters where you would use a, a K instead of a C, you would use hyphens. They can't use the legitimate URL of that company, so they have to get something that is close to it. We must also address the underlying issues that fuel cybercrime and provide more opportunities for young people to thrive and succeed. The Yahoo Boys are a symptom of a larger problem, and only by addressing that problem can we hope to create a world where everyone can use the internet safely and without fear.